Can I ask y'all a question? A real one. Am I bugging out or am I doing too much because Eme got suspended for a year and we ain't got all the details? Am I being too nosy? Keep it real. Am I asking for too much to at least know what went down and what was the reason specifically for getting this man out of there for an entire year? So I'm on social media. I'm breaking things down on Twitter and I can't take credit for this. But I'm on social media and I'm looking at this podcast. I think his name is Khalib Abdullah or Abdallah, something like that. Shout out to him. His name is Khalid Abdallah. If I'm not mispronouncing, I know he's Muslim. Shout out to him. He actually uh, does a podcast out in the West Coast. So salute to him. But check out what he was saying about the situation with Ime in Boston. So he like this. I heard some things about Ime Adoka's situation from a friend at the NBA League office. We'll see what real is real when the news drop. Udoka and Nia Long are in an open relationship and he is a serial offender with the ladies wherever he's coach. In Boston, he slept with a team staffer. So already, he's saying that Nia Long and Udoka, they got like an open relationship. Like they playing that game. But he's saying that, you know, in Boston, Udoka has slept with a staffer that handles team accommodations and bookings. She's married and her husband had caught him. The husband went to the team and they signed paperwork saying that it was consensual and that it shouldn't have been. And, and that, that should have been it. Later, she said that Udoka was inappropriate to her before they hooked up. Team told him to chill, but he kept doing whatever and then slept with the Celtics minority owner's wife. That was too much for them and they suspended Ime. If it was mid-season, they would have fired him, but it's off-season, so more time to investigate and see what else he did. Udoka won't resign because he doesn't want to miss out on a payday, but he will likely never coach in the NBA again. Many were surprised he got a coaching gig, a head coaching gig, rather, because of his past behaviors. So no one was assaulted and no one got pregnant, but this dude was wilding on the job. So according to this, y'all, Emei got a history. Emei is nasty. He got nasty work. And people knew about this. People were surprised he got the head coaching job in the first place. So with that being said, if people knew about this, and you know how the hood go as far as, you know, I'm not going to tell, I mind my business, it ain't happening to me, I stay out my business. This is a professional situation in the system. And you are definitely threatening females that this guy's working with. We see what happened. You know what I mean? Maybe could, this thing could have been prevented if somebody would have stepped up to the plate and would have kind of spoken on this. So I don't really know if all of these things are true, but it was kind of uh, surprising to me because I didn't really know that many details about what happened. Eme is a dirty dog, bro. Eme is a dirty dog. But am I being too nosy? Am I wrong for asking for more details. And am I wrong for being a little bit tight. That they really didn't put it out there. Before suspending them. It seemed personal. But you guys are now rocking with the best man. This is the best of 7 Sports Talk. I'm 7 Mitchell. Y'all know how we rocking man here on our YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate everybody in the NBA community. Let me know what y'all think about Eme man. I don't think I'm bugging out. I think Eme got to talk to the boss. He already talked to the bosses. And I don't think it's over with. I think they're going to really get rid of him. I don't think he's ever going to coach again. You know what I mean? It's a wrap for e -Man. Wow. All right, y'all. I'm out. Okay, now, hey, y'all with the cooler kick. Keep street, we run this shit. Fell back after run it up. Then my last bitch, she was dumb as fuck. Hop out, get the spray and stuff. Then my last ops wasn't saying nothing. Whole stunting. Ho hun, 38 with the cooler kid in the mall with me like Joe Button, these hoes front. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.